On January 16, 2003, the Space Shuttle Columbia launched from the Kennedy Space Center with a seven-member crew. A few seconds into takeoff, a foam piece of debris broke off from the left bipod and struck the shuttle's left wing. While this did not cause any issues with a successful launch, it raised concerns among engineers for the safety of the shuttle and crew members upon re-entry. During the two-week space mission, engineers on the ground lobbied an unsuccessful campaign to obtain satellite imaging of the impacted wing to assess the damage and propose solutions. Despite their concerns and requests, the Columbia attempted re-entry on February 1, 2003, without any diagnostic or corrective action to fix the area of the wing damaged by the debris strike during launch. During re-entry, the engineers' concerns were quickly validated in the worst possible way. The shuttle's thermal protection system, weakened by the debris strike, suffered catastrophic failure. By 9 a.m., the shuttle had overheated and fully disintegrated into the Earth's atmosphere, killing all seven women and men on board. While a debris strike during takeoff may have been the immediate and technical cause of the Columbia shuttle disaster in 2003, many have pointed to a larger, more troubling issue at the root. The real failure wasn't the shuttle's thermal protection system. It was the swift rejection and failure to act on the concerns raised by engineers, a mistake that cost good men and women their lives. So how does a company or organization create a culture where mistakes, even potentially fatal ones, are so easily swept under the rug? While it may not be the first answer that comes to mind, one quick way to ensure mistakes are hidden is to create a culture that is high on insecurity and low on humility. As we continue to explore the topic of likability in the context of customer service, today we will focus on how humility enables us to honestly examine our mistakes and learn from them rather than trying to hide or ignore them. Let's start our discussion by talking about opposites. If someone asked, what is the opposite of humility? What would you say? Maybe pride or arrogance? The first word that comes to mind probably isn't insecure. In fact, some may mistakenly associate insecurity with humility, not the opposite of it. But do a little digging, and insecure may be the perfect antonym. Why is that? When someone is insecure, they often behave in a way that mimics arrogance, not humility. They talk about their own accomplishments to whoever will listen, hoping to find validation from others. They put down other people, hoping to gain a sense of superiority. They attack and defend against any allegations of shortcomings, hoping to mask any imperfections that might expose their insecurities. On the opposite end of the spectrum, a genuine sense of security lays the proper foundation for genuine humility. Factors that contribute to this foundational sense of security in both the personal and professional spheres include 1. Healthy relationships with others 2. A sense of competency in the areas most relevant to a person's responsibilities 3. A high view of one's own personal character and values. And 4. The feeling of control and predictability for a person's current and future well-being. By feeling secure in these areas, a person is able to celebrate the accomplishments of others because they don't need the validation for themselves. They are able to build up others rather than put them down because they aren't vying for superiority. And they feel a willingness to examine their own mistakes without fear of exposure of their imperfections to others. Once these areas of significance are well anchored, we can turn our attention to others instead of self. Let's transition to discuss briefly what types of mistakes and imperfections those who are likable and humble are able to lay before others for closer examination. For today's discussion, these mistakes will fall into three categories. One, inconsequential. Two, iterative, and three, important. Inconsequential mistakes are those mistakes or flaws that are of little or no significance to matters of one, a person's character, or two, a person's core competencies. For example, a medical doctor who commits a fashion faux pas, these types of mistakes can actually make a person more likable, according to one theory called the pratfall effect. Customers want perfection in areas of core competency and character but they can be appreciative of endearing flaws that make a person seem human and approachable. Inconsequential mistakes can also be used, as suggested by Dale Carnegie, when sharing necessary negative feedback with others. Carnegie advises to admit your own shortcomings prior to sharing the shortcomings of others. 
Next, let's discuss iterative mistakes. These are mistakes made in areas that are new or developing, and in which a certain level of experimentation is necessary to perfect or optimize a process. The Toyota production system is an excellent example where finding and building upon iterative mistakes is not only acknowledged, but an integral part of corporate culture. When a problem is encountered during vehicle production at Toyota, the assembly line is suspended until that problem has been analyzed, understood, and resolved, even if that means delays in production. Through this process, Toyota has been a leader in efficiency and waste elimination. Both pride and fault are set aside in favor of resolution and perfection. Finally, the third category is mistakes made or potentially made in matters of importance. When an issue is one of importance, hiding or covering mistakes becomes all the more tempting. Set the expectation that hiding or covering mistakes is not only unacceptable, but a greater offense than making mistakes in the first place. Areas of significance may vary based on size, scope, and nature of an organization. They may be financial, quality, or performance related. Matters of health and safety will always fall into this category. For example, given the risk to human life, NASA should never have allowed the Space Shuttle Columbia to re-enter Earth's atmosphere without a full assessment of the damage to the wing of the shuttle. Where stakes are high, humility is increasingly necessary to allow thorough and honest assessment of any imperfections. Mistakes are always difficult to admit, especially to our customers. But with a little humility, we can take our imperfections and turn them into strengths, making ourselves even more likable to our customers. Thank you.